Well, uh, hello again everybody. Today I'm going to show how to open uh, and uh, to do some uh, changings to this new Aspire uh, Acer Aspire 5 A515 51G series. So, uh, came uh, with uh, 4 GB of DDR4 memory. All I want to do today is to add another brick of 8 giga and later a new SSD drive for now I choose a WD Green Western Digital uh, M2 format but I'll show this later for now before starting everything you have to shut down the computer take the power off totally and then you shut it down not slip or uh, hibernation or something shut it down let's wait for this okay so now it's down for sure. Then we have a couple of we need a couple of tools. Uh, what I choose it's um, a Philips driver, screwdriver, and uh, it's uh, I think it's number zero. It's pH zero. I don't know it's focusing, but anyway, uh, any kind of cross screwdriver will do the job. Because I don't want to waste any time of your precious time. In fact, you know, I took out all the all the screws. There are a couple of uh, screws. I mean, uh, more than a couple of screws all around. You see here, here, here. They should be taken out, but be very nice and careful. Then you have to take this screw off. Gently open the hard drive top. And here we have the memory top two. We take this out also, and then nice and slowly, the way I did. I don't know if you may see this, but we can use a plectrum, a guitar plectrum, and nice and easy. You put it in here in between the aluminium and the top and easy and easy you go around around and with a little patience the top it's going I mean the bottom it's going out so here is the battery this is the battery down here this one It should be nice before doing anything else to disconnect the battery nice and easy we have this connector here and we can be sure that nothing wrong happens okay so the battery is out we have the hard drive the classic hard drive I may say and here it will be the memory that's a single slot for the memory because the other 4 giga it's already uh, soldered on the motherboard and here is the place for the SSD the M2 SSD the single problem I face is about um, having a M2 SSD on this laptop is that when they are delivering the SSD they don't give you the screw here at the end of the things but we try to find something okay now we have the memory we put the plastic up a little bit nice and gently you put it inside the socket press down nice and easy gently let me take out the hard disk for now because when you put the top back it will be pretty difficult to to 
to have the screws and all the other stuff. Okay, so that's the that's the one Terra hard to drive, very nice hard drive, thin and very very quiet. Yes, you may see it's a brand new laptop. There is no dust anywhere. It's very nice and clean. Okay, so now it's the moment to shoot. Let's have the S's there. Like I said, this is a Western Digital. And this is the place here with the label up. As you may see, the S's they have two uh, faces, I may say. The one with the label and the other one it's at the bottom somehow you use the one with the label on top you push it nice and gently don't push down anything yet and now it's time to have a screw so I found this one yeah, so like I said, I'm gonna use one from down here, from the hard disk, and then later I'm gonna try to find another screw to replace that one. But for now, I'm gonna use this little one. You see, I don't know if you may see it. And also down here, it's saying hash 30, 30. I, I don't know what that means, maybe it's the size, the size of, uh, of the screw. Anyway, let's try to put it down. Nice and easy. Oh, come on. Here we go. Everything is on place. And for me, to be sure that everything is fine, I'm gonna use a little bit of nail polish, just a little bit to on the top of the screw, not too much, just a little bit to be sure it's nice and tight. That's it. Well, I think uh, we are okay for now. Don't forget to put back the battery connector. <laughs> You may have the surprise, you know, to, to put all the screws back and to realize that the battery, it's not there. Okay, so we have a brand new memory and we have a brand new SSD. 250, I think. It's 240 gigabytes. And now, we have to put the top back. The top, the bottom. because everything is done here well it's not too much to do here just push it nice all around it should hear clicking all the way <laughs> don't push it too hard because it's getting tired anyway let's see well, this uh, this machine also have a, also have a, I may say an emergency battery uh, disconnector. If you push this one, it, it's absolutely disconnecting the battery, and it's not turning on until you put the power again. So this emergency, let's say, it's right here in this. You may see the, you, see, you can see this one here. So you just press it down for a couple of seconds. It wasn't really necessary because I turned it off. So, but it's good to know. Okay, now it's time to, to have the hard disk back. Nice and easy. Oh, that's the way. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I like it. 
everything is in place. I don't want to bother you with having all these screws back. Remember the hard drive. Now it only has three screws because I used one for fixing the, the new SSD in place. For the hard drive we are using, uh, oh you can see it, but for the hard drive we are using uh, the short ones, these ones, all the others are longer. And I'll be back after all the screws are uh, on and to turn on the machine to see if we, if uh, the BIOS is seeing the new memory and the new SSD. Okay, so uh, everything is back in place. All the screws all around. And the hard disk top and the memory top and everything is fine. Well, uh, now it's, it's the moment that's true. I'm a little bit anxious about that. Let's see what have we done. Okay. Power. And here we go. F2. Oh yes, that's my baby. Now we go back and put two windows. Disk management, create on, you have to search for create and format hard disk partition. Here we go. You must okay GPT okay. This one unallocated. You see that's the new one down here. Okay. Right click on it. New simple volume. Next and we call it SSD perform a quick format next finish let's have a speed test the first one disk C okay start Okay, uh, I just did a speed test uh, to, let's say, the classic hard drive. These are the results. The next one is the SSD. Disk A and here we go. Okay, so the test uh, it's finished for the SSD. It's at least five times faster than uh, the classic disk, I may say. Okay, we got all uh, the results here. Let's have a test about putting time with uh, the classic uh, hard drive. Okay, here we go. Second, twenty seconds. You got the mouse. 
Okay, it's like 25, 26 seconds. And another 10, 15, 20. Also, it's like maybe 45 to 50 seconds uh, booting time with the classic hard drive. Okay, now it's time to migrate the operating system from uh, from a disk to another, and uh, I'm using a really nice software, and it's free. It's called Mini Tool Partition Wizard. Okay, let's open it. You can find it very easy on the internet, and here we are. It's simple, just uh, migrate OS to ASD. I said that uh, I'd like to replace my system disk with another disk. I think I'm, I'm gonna try that one, because anyway I want to give a full uh, uh, wipe to the old uh, hard disk. Okay, there we go. It's something wrong here, but I don't care because anyway, it's gonna be a lot of changings. Here you go. Fit partition to the inside, copy partition without resize. Okay, I choose fit the partition to entire size. Next. And finish. Recovery and allocate it. Okay, let's go. So it needs to uh, restart in a special uh, mode. I'll watch you later. I'll show you later about that. Yeah, now it's copying uh, the partition. Okay, so the migration is done. You can see now uh, that my uh, old, let's say old, I mean uh, 40 hours old hard disk, it's erased, wiped and uh, ready for be used like a dump, like a deposit of uh, data. And the new one, it's booting Yes, it should, and everything is uh, really, really nice and fast. And now uh, let's have a last uh, test about uh, shutting down Windows, and it's down almost instantly. Okay, and now let's boot up the machine. Go. Oh. Well, it's less than 15 seconds. Less than 15 seconds before I, uh, I was having around 45, uh, sometimes even one minute to boot up. Now the machine is way faster, much more faster. I can feel that uh, it's a big improvement. And uh, I really hope this little tutorial will help you to have your Acer in shape or to do eventually memory and uh, uh, hard disk upgrades and please if you have any comments uh, put it down below and let me know about uh, your opinion. Thank you so much.